Hello, today is another unboxing day and um, my parcel arrived so I bought a few things during the 11.11 sale and this came last night. So it's an instrument that I bought over Lazada. So let's take a look at it. So whenever you get any parcel through the um, post, make sure that you disinfect it before you bring it into the house. So it's been sitting in my toilet uh, last night, so one whole evening. So um, I sprayed it with disinfectant. Um, as we know, the packages that come from overseas, sometimes they will even carry the virus along. So I've been very careful. Okay, so it's very um, well wrapped. So this is the bubble, bubble wrap. And so they bubble wrap the box. Okay, that. Um, I was quite surprised that the package came in the evening. So it was delivered by Singpost. see there is the box inside and let's take it out of the box now oh, so pretty so this is what the box looks like yeah and it's a liar okay liar and um, the product is made in China, okay, which is why it's cheaper than most of the liars that you see in the market. I bought it over Lazada. I've been eyeing it for quite some time and was waiting for a sale where the price would drop. So um, I will link a photo of what it looks like on the website where I bought it from. The original price, let me just real quickly scroll to the app. So I bought it over Lazada. So this is a 19 string. The one that I bought is a 19 string wooden lyre harp resonance box string instrument. So the price, wait, let me see. Well, it doesn't say here. Okay, if I remember correctly, before discount, it was 80-something. And then for a 19 string, the liar would come in different um, sizes. So you have 16 string, 19 string, 21 string. So the one that I bought was 19 string because I think the size would be just nice. It has enough strings to play music as well as I, I want to try out the portability and uh, the price I bought it on the Lazada sale was $57.92 Let's take a look on the inside okay. so It comes nicely wrapped like this Okay with a booklet and I think the booklet inside has a instruction manual and some uh, telling you the different designs that this company carries how to tune your liar so so because it arrived through the mail it will definitely be out of tune so some pieces simple scores that uh, you can play. So if you look at the score, I like that it's in number form. So this is actually um, what Chinese music actually would look like. Don't know whether you can see. Yeah, so it looks like that. Okay. So I'll link the score um, next to the video. So you can take a look at it. So this is the booklet. And then it comes with some guitar picks. 
So, and they specified that they're not going to let you choose the colors. So there's the guitar pick. There are three inside that you can use to play the lyre. Uh, spare strings. So this is very important. Although I think I've seen on the internet uh, people, places selling just the strings. So it's always good to have spares around. Um, and let's look at the lyre. A little bit about background on the lyre. The lyre is a string instrument that dates back to 1400 BC from ancient Greece and it is known for its use in Greek classical antiquity and later period. So it is similar to the harp, all right, and um, very popular in Europe. And then this is considered a modern lyre. And um, I was inspired to look into the lyre because um, I joined a lyre uh, group in the Facebook and I, I love how it's able, so versatile, it's so versatile and it's so portable. So I'm going to give this a try and I think it is definitely easier to learn to play this instrument than the harp. So this is what it looks like. So pretty. Okay. So this is the tuning wrench. Okay. So let's listen to it. Yep, so it's out of tune. So it goes from low to high. Looking at it, okay, I like the finishing, all right, um, the strings sit on these pegs and you can tune the, the peg, there are the letter names of the tunings written here, so it should be quite easy. This is the Sika brand, so there are a few brands in the market. So Sika, I think, is one of the more uh, popular brands that have been recommended in my research on the internet. So I'm going to tune this up and later I'm going to see if I'm able to play a simple tune on it. Okay, I've roughly tuned it up, although it will take a while to settle. So... Um, I find that the lower strings, so the strings, unlike my heart, the strings are not nylon. These are steel, steel strings. So the, the sound is closer to that of a guitar. And um, let's try it out. The, the tuning holds better for the lower strings, but the higher strings um, are a bit flat and it will take a while for the strings to settle. So I didn't want to tune it too tightly, just in case I burst the strings. So here is Oak to Joy. So I'm using the plectrum that they gave. Okay, I'll do it in C major. out of two. So we're back to I like the resonance, I like the tone color and uh, some liars I saw on YouTube have a hollow body but mine is actually a solid wood. And I like that it's light brown in colour. So I love the colour, the wood. The, it, it 
is quite what I expected. I'm very happy with it. And um, I will wait for the strings to settle. Oh, the only thing that is a bit tricky is that um, the strings are not coloured like the harp. So in terms of finding a way around the strings, um, it does look all the same. But I suppose um, it would take a while to learn the geographical situation of where the strings are. And I saw some people in uh, YouTube have also coloured, colour-coded the C and F uh, pegs so that they can um, see where the strings are. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I will play around with this for a while and maybe shoot some future videos to post. So till the next time, bye-bye.